It's an exciting day today, guys. If you were a fan of Robin Williams like I was before he passed, we're gonna have a chance to talk to him. Also, we get to hear what Jesus has been up to. Stay tuned for that and more after this intro of this water bottle exploding. All right, you guys know that I am a sucker for a good charlatan. Obviously, the prosperity preachers have been a main focus on this channel over the years. Some of you might not know this, but I did a video on a guy named Huff Paranormal years ago, who's one of these spirit box, like, let's talk to the dead as soon as they die type of guys. An underrated hustle, if I have to be honest. Now, just like it was Christmas morning all over again, I opened my inbox the other morning to a beautiful gift from one of you guys. And it was an email that directed me to this guy named Craig McMahon, who gives Huff Paranormal a run for his money when it comes to the talking to dead people through a fancy colorful crystal box grift. You might want to put on headphones or earbuds to really fully understand what it is these spirits are saying. Listen, I'm going to take my chances on my laptop speakers first. Jesus. 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 Are you there? <laughs> So glad that you're reaching out and communicating with me. What a lucky guy Greg is. Of all the people that would probably love to talk to Jesus, Craig just happens to be the one he chose. I mean, when you have a beautiful box like that with these fancy little LED lights, I mean, the production is off the charts. I mean, just look at the set he's in right now. I'm sorry that I disrespected you early in my life. <laughs> You know what? I'm having a little trouble understanding Jesus. I'm going to take Craig's earlier advice here. How's it going, bros? My name is Panda Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, that makes much more sense now. Here's a sample of the loner voice that I used for this Jesus session. It's a British male, and the track is around 57 minutes total in length. It's a rather long track, but this ensures that I will always be using a new area of that audio track. <sighs> What? I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly perplexed right now. I choose not to use apps, but that doesn't mean that I don't like them. I've tried using forward voice, but it just became too confusing for me to discern. Is he just admitting that he downloads Soundbank audio files to use on his spirit box? Isn't the whole point, is it supposed to be Jesus, not something pre-recorded? Or is it Jesus that chooses the sound file once it's loaded into the box, maybe? Jesus is like, Jesus is up in heaven, just like selecting MP3s that are playing through Craig's talk box here for us? Will there be a time when we will shed the need for karma? Are we victims? Or did we choose these circumstances to learn? I just can't get over how beautiful this presentation is. You got the 1950s jukebox, the warm flickering lights in the background, beautiful bokeh, Craig's frosted tips, and these twisted little wires down here in the bottom left really bring the whole thing together to make me feel like we're really talking to Jesus backwards. Jesus, can you tell us how we can become unaffected by negative energy? <laughs> nice. Here's something that's interesting. Jesus said that being fearless helps us become unaffected by negative energy instead of building walls. This is not advice and you should do whatever you feel is comfortable with you. So Craig puts like a 19 and a half minute performance on here and he interjects little tidbits of his own wisdom as he's kind of live translating uh, Jesus's reversed text to speech. Let's skip forward a little bit and see if we get any juicier here. Beautiful ambient music in the background. Pictures of tombs to really heighten the experience. He's got happy with our performance here on Earth. Uh, I'm gonna answer that for you. Uh, no, he's definitely, definitely not. not. Does Jesus have to say anything about that? Is God happy with our performance here on Earth? <laughs> mm, I'm not so sure we are, quite can frankly. Can you help us understand how we can remove this negative energy we may have? Believe there is not negative energy. I like that advice. Are the Ascended Masters keeping an eye on us at all times? He gave me this message to all of you. We all have busy lives and he knows that. However, he would like us to make an effort to emit love and light. Perhaps once or twice a day, and make a habit to stop what you're doing and send out love by thought. How does this motherfucker, how does he take himself seriously, honestly? <laughs> I, I like the message there he's packing, but this whole, the whole package deal of what he's delivering here is really some interesting stuff. I want to look a little bit more at this guy, Craig McMahon. He runs the channel Life to Afterlife Spirituality Series. He's actually, he's done like a lot of indie, like Amazon release films 
obviously in the spiritual realm. Look at all these. He's clearly a professional on the production side of things, which is all part of uh, being able to sell the show, I think, effectively. The reason I got an email from my viewer in the first place is because Craig was running pre-roll ads to try and send traffic to his video where he uh, spoke to Robin Williams which caught my viewer a little off guard and they were like, yo, check this dude out. So let's take a look at the, at the Robin Williams one here. Were you happy when you find, <laughs> when you got that gig with Happy Days? <laughs> Dude, how you gonna, how are you gonna lead the trailer with you like breaking character and laughing because of how fucking ridiculous you're about to sound? Craig's got balls, I gotta tell you that. He's carrying a fat sack of cojones. The people liked it. You were nervous? Have you met God? Wow. Robin, was your death painful? Awkward. There is no death. Spirit Box Live with Robin Williams. I mean, you just don't get to a level of disrespect like these guys do sometimes. Comments turned off, of course, in the trailer. 311,000 views, so he paid for all of those to try to drive traffic to his channel. Let's check out the actual Robin Williams video. You might want to put on headphones or earbuds to really fully understand what it is these spirits are saying. Not gonna make that mistake again. Robin, a lot of your friends described you as a quiet person, is that right? Yes, never would. I immediately got struck with his excitement. I could feel how proud he was, as though I was right there in the moment. Were you happy when you finally, <laughs> when you got that gig with Happy Days? Hey, Robin, were you happy? <laughs> oh, it's a Robin, when you uh, got the gig. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing right now? Are people really gonna watch this? <laughs> hey, Robin, when you uh, was was death painful? <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Why am I doing this? Do people actually believe this? Yes. Were you happy after you transitioned? <laughs> were you surprised when you were transitioned? <laughs> I mean, the man took his, like, this is weird, right? Like, the dude took his own life. Not like a, not a happy, not a happy incident. Such a strange hustle. I have to, I always wonder, does like Craig really, does he really believe what he's doing right now? Does he believe the bullshit? Like, you know, he's loading like wave files of voices onto these devices and just, uh, you know, adding reverb, echo. You know what's funny is that this is basically no different than Jay Station making 3 a.m. Ouija board videos about all the dead celebrities, except this guy is like so professionally produced. I just don't think he gets the same amount of shit for it. He's obviously not as relevant as Jay Station either, but uh, same grift, different delivery. Robin, what do you have to say about the atheists that live here on this what? planet? What? Well, here you go. Robin Williams does an impersonation from the other side. Uh, what impersonation? What? Robin, what advice do you have for atheists? Stone hit right down the path. Luke chapter 6, verse 17. Stone hit right down the path. Dash Robin Williams, circa 2020. Checkmate, atheists. <laughs> Robin appeared to me as a paternal age, perhaps in his 50s. It seems they pick an age that suits them best. Remember, love is the key to our evolution. Uh, just an incredible session with Robin Williams. Great to catch up with him after such a devastating way uh, for him to transition. Let's see what the comments have to say. That was awesome to hear Robin Williams' voice. It sounded like him. He was always a made me laugh. He is missed. Thank you, Craig, for your work. I'm lonely is curious. Isn't this disrespectful? Reasonable question. Of course, Bukowski's pen is here to clear the air. Uh, only to skeptics and nitwits who reuse to understand anything other than their own ignorance. The rest of us find it fascinating and remarkable. In what way could this possibly be disrespectful, Jackie's wondering. It's not disrespectful, he is respectfully interviewing him. So, I mean, he's done all the big names. Prince, John Lennon, Michael Jackson, Spirit Box. That one could be interesting. Elvis Presley, Einstein, Charlie Chaplin. It's Craig here. A lot of you may know me. I'm the, the guy behind the uh, Life to Afterlife series on Amazon. I wanted to talk to you about something that I've been working on that's really groundbreaking. Here we go. 
and, uh, and this is the this is the beginning of the the grift. So it's clear if you look at his channel, like he's he's into like faith based movies and creating indie films. He's got like an Amazon series called Life to Afterlife, and like it's got high quality stuff. I mean, aside from the actual films, visually they're very appealing. But it seems like maybe this talk, the spirit box grift is his kind of way to try to utilize that YouTube algorithm to get people in so maybe they'll go find his actual work. You know, the paranormal community has been working on some some great advances for EVP. I mean, they're communicating with the afterlife. But here's the problem. They're getting a lot of demonic, evil, dark, and I don't know, maybe that's what they're into. Maybe, I don't know. That was the only part that I never really liked about it. But... Because I'm a spiritual person, and because I understand the afterlife, I thought I could actually communicate with loved ones. It's a bold, that is a bold claim. I mean, literally, the pursuit of understanding what happens after we die is like the biggest question mark in the sky through all of human history, right? That's always been the thing that drives people. That's the reason for religion. It's the unknown. It's the unknowns that cause people to, to gravitate towards things so they can feel like they have an understanding of what happens because humans are simply incapable of being okay with not knowing. So to say you have a full grasp on what happens in the afterlife is a pretty, pretty impressive claim. Michael, before your birth, did you plan to be a huge pop star? <laughs> Nigel, before your birth, did you plan to be a relentless leech that would try to sabotage my YouTube channel at every single turn. Okay. So from what I can tell, all the Spirit Box videos are kind of the same thing. He always kind of brings it back to this, like, love is the key message, which, okay. But this is 100% the kind of video you just click on and immediately go to the comments, because that's where the gold really lies. I've seen so many programs where people use Spirit Boxes, and a lot of the times, their Spirit Box has a lot of static with funny noise in the background. Yours, on the other hand, is quiet, and I can understand what they are saying. How is that, Craig? Clearly what Sherwood doesn't understand by the beauty of Craig's production is he has Spirit Box 2.0 technology that completely eliminates ground noise, hiss, and static. You still have to listen to the voices in reverse with an obnoxious amount of reverb and, like, tremolo on them, but it's the, the advancements that Craig has made in Spirit Box technology is simply remarkable. Call the spirit of Chester Bennington. Now that's something I can get behind. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna make my own spirit box. All right, now that I have my own spirit box, we're gonna contact Chester Bennington. Oh, actually, hold on, I need an LED. Chester, how big was your penis after you transitioned? Is God more of an ass or titties kind of guy? Better yet, is God a woman? You know what? Better thrice, is God trans? Incredibly insightful session with Chester. I don't know about you, but I got the chills. Uh, as always, love is the key. In Craig's defense, you know, he's using notable people for these throughout recent history, but he's not making videos about people that died like the day before. That's Huff Paranormal's grind, right? Like when X died the next day, made a video. Mac Miller, next day, Huff made a video where he was talking to him. Super exploitative, it feels so exploitative. This just feels just like high production cheese. <laughs> like you go on eBay, you buy a miniature model of a 1950s jukebox, cop a couple of LEDs, get some quartz crystals, tie some copper wire around some shit, and uh, get a fancy camera, and the next thing you know, you're talking to Jesus. So kudos to Craig for being able to blend his high production value with this kind of spirit box hustle on YouTube that tends to bring people traffic, and he's able to get some new faces uh, to watch his straight to Amazon specials. Uh, I just hope that he eventually makes a video uh, where he talks to the Extreme Games Brothers, rest in peace, uh, since they only had two weeks. Oh, you know what? 
No, no, never mind. They're still alive. I forgot. Yeah, Dr. Bergman cured them. They're fine. Anyways, another day on YouTube, another charlatan. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, that would mean the world if you do that now. If you could do me a favor before you go, grab some quartz crystals, an old fucking jukebox, wrap it in some copper wire, and say what's up to Jeffrey Epstein, then pull down your pants and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.